All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Come here anywhere you want to show me. I will speak the truth for you. Let them know this truth that Nigeria is dark. Nigeria is backward. Nigeria is useless. Nigeria is suffering because of dogma of religion. Dogma of tribe. Look at this one telling me rubbish about Obi. He doesn't know who Obi is. Go and ask Obi who is his chief butcher. James Wafo. Where is the Wafo? Daki. He's a youth. Daki or Kuzu youth. Inside the Zoo River, SR 2020, where were this marker? Where were you? When we were shot at and let it okay, did you switch right now? It's in Canada as a single thief because of this thinking people. He goes to school, he's not educated. What is your school? Nigeria school is a rubbish place to go. I hate the schools I went to. They are rubbish. I trash all those rubbish. You know what can save you? It's not God, it's not Satan, it is you. That will lead yourself by a revolution now. If you don't revolt, if you don't revolt, or be that people are so mean. Yes, this is what we've been talking about. You have to get this in your brain. And all those uh, young gullible youths that are thinking will be sent or thinking they are church pastors, they are geos, and they are. General Versailles and Supreme, many of them are flying out of the zoo already. All thinking about restructuring, it will never, it will never work, and it is dead on arrival. As Prime Minister say, I want you to listen to him. You see, they don't know what is coming to them. They are thought that we are fools. You first created this geopolitical zone. Who gave you the mandate? Did you seek the consent of the people before creating the this geopolitical zone? Were there a referendum that people agreed to be in a geopolitical zone? The answer is no. This is a total freedom for Biafra. And we are going back to the foundation. 1914, that was when this problem started. If you don't visit that foundation 1914, believe me, Nigeria will burn down. If you try to impose any regional government again without the consent of the people, the revolution that is coming will be so brutal. I am telling you the fact, and I'm going to leave it. It will start from the southeast. Enough is enough. The video I played earlier, the person that played it said Nigeria is frustrating this guy and is making him mentally ill. That is what they will tell you when you talk about the disintegration of the amalgamation that was done in 1914. That is what the large majority of the gullible citizens will tell you because they have been so impoverished with fear despite the fact that every day hundreds die in their numbers, especially on the highway. Hundreds die in their number by the police force. Did you not just see the video that came out yesterday? If I did not mistake, and I did a video about it, you can look at the other videos on my channel. Have you not seen where military schools, officers were beating the civilians that are employed? Have you not seen the protest that happened yesterday in, I don't know if it's Abuja or Lagos, some of the staff of the so-called Nigerian Educational Board, the civilians here, saying some of their fellow staff were arrested and put inside the guard room to the extent that one lost his life. They don't know who is going to be the next person right now. This is how a wicked system works. This is how a zoo operates. It is time for you to wake up, for me to wake up and stand against this impunity done by this zoo government, carried out by the hands of the military, by the hands of the police, by the hands of the security operator that is supposed to protect the lives and property of you. It is time to wake up. If you don't wake up now and support the disintegration of the zoo, that will be led by the Biafra and public government in exile because that is the first way out of the zoo. The first way out of the zoo is Biafra, and later every other indigenous tribe can go out. And we can be neighbors, we can do business with ourselves in the future. But as it stands today, if you think you will pray for Nigeria, if you think you will prophesy about Nigeria, if you think you want to fix Nigeria, your fathers, your grandfather, your great-grandfather did not fix it. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mirage you're operating on.
I want to leave you with another whole deal from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exa. Everybody listening how they bragged that yes, now they have gotten at you and me. Because it was not actually Mazen Amdekano. As he is being kept in the dungeon today, the target, the end point is you and I. Not him. So whatever happened today, I want you to understand that the target is you, not Simon Epa. That is what they do. Because Mazinam Dekano was standing on their way to the Islamization of the Afro land, was standing on their way to the terrorism, the jihad against the Afro people, and all they were doing is to take him away so they will come for you they will come for your head, they will come for your land, and they will grab it, and they will chase you away from your land to the IDP camp. That's the end target is you. As they have captured Mazenam the Kano from Kenya, extraordinary rendition him back to Nigeria, have they stopped? I want to ask you a question today. Those of you who are still standing by the side and on the fence, waiting for the right time. There is no other right time than now because they have captured Mazinam Dekano, they have not stopped. They are still looking for somebody else who have risen up to stand on their way. For this time around, I told them, I told them I will be the last person and I will be the end of this whole Biafra thing and Biafra will come. Mark my word. Yes, that is the purpose of all these things that is happening, is to total Islamization of Nigeria, and it is now Islamic State of Nigeria. That's what you gullible youths, some gullible youths are not even aware of that, and they are going to school, and a few they are educated, they are going to uni Ben, uni Clark, Osuka and the rest, and they don't know that it is an Islamic State already. Gradually, their eyes will be open. Until when it is totally Islamized. Is it until that time your eyes want to be open? It is now or never.